Everywhere you go in New Zealand, there's good gold. I literally just found that. Yeah. <laughs> this is just a little picket. And I spend an entire month hunting and searching where it's all coming from. Good morning or good afternoon everyone. Welcome if you're new here, my name is Polly. Now it's gonna make this trip a little bit of a challenge is that I pulled my shoulder pretty bad. So I'll be sniping with one hand for three days and I broke the zipper on my wetsuit. So now we're gonna hopefully find the right wetsuit at the dive shop on the way out. So I got my GPS, my clothes, a radio, a tent, sleeping bag, gold pan, a bag of food and water that's gonna be a pain to bring out and my feet. And here's the host of our trip, are you excited? Man, I couldn't get any more excited than today. Going out, we're going to find some of these. This is just a little picker. He's all packed up, got the metal detector, sleeping bag, and all the goodies. excited about getting to go out in February. Oh yeah. In this weather, it's amazing. Kyle and I went sniping for only a couple hours yesterday without the camera, and he ended up finding his biggest nugget so far, so that's a good sign that there could be gold around. So, as normal, Darren leads the way, and myself and Kyle follow like little ducks. What do you think, Polly? We're doing it. Definitely doing it. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> So we're just having our first break. It's been an hour and 10 minutes since we started this hike in. Not too much longer and we'll find a place for base camp. Our plan is, because we brought so much gear in, to not bring all the gear up to where we're going. We just have to find a flat area to camp. That'll be our base camp and we'll just walk up from there. You still excited? Oh, still excited. Can't see it on my face though. I'm glad I didn't bring my my toque. Speaking of toque, if you're interested in getting your own limited edition Pioneer Poly toque, the same one I always wear, they are now in stock at pioneerpoly.com. Get yours before they're gone. Polly's got a bum shoulder from I don't know what. I don't know. Sniping maybe. Ow! So what I've been doing is I tuck my hand in here, almost like a rear naked choke, and then uh, this is how I hike. So after we made our five star hotel, Kyle's excited, we packed up and headed to the creek. We're here. This creek is really, really small, but there's some big gold here, so might as well look everywhere. After a bit of time of messing around, I found our first piece of gold. And I also forgot my snuffer further down, so not a big deal. I can pick this one up with my fingers. Oh yeah. There we go. A little picker. In the water bottle it goes. Bloop. Because there's almost no water here, I spent a lot of time moving rocks to make it deep enough for me to snipe. Just found another guy, a little smaller and a lot deeper. I'm not really sure how I'm gonna get this one out. <laughs> I love this tool, but it's the wrong tool for the job. I need my snuffer bottle. Uh huh. got it. So unfortunately, the rest of the day was just us looking, but not finding anything. We ended up camping for the night, hiking back to the truck and heading to a more promising area. Just set up camp, day two, let's see what we find. So Reese's Pieces from our last video joined us again. And we were right back at it finding Ironstone, an indicator that the heavies are dropping here, which could mean gold. This crevice looks good, who knows? Yep, gold sitting with Ironstone, typical. I just found a pile of Ironstone, and that's where I sucked up that little piece of gold. So I'm gonna get Reese's Pieces here to build me a dam to slow the water down. Feels good to have a help. Anytime I move a big rock out of the way, I typically find lots of gold underneath. So in order for me to work more in this spot, I'm gonna need more help. Kyle and Reese's pieces just went downstream for a little while. So I came up here and I'm already finding more gold. Sometimes even though I'm finding gold, I leave and look for an even better spot. But hours later, I return to where I was finding gold originally and regret ever leaving.
There's a deep pocket right here I'm trying to get to, but because the current's going through here, I'm gonna start against this wall and then move my way in. As I just started, I found two pieces of gold. Every time I turn the camera off, I see more gold. I love hard pack. All the gold just sits on it. One, two, three, four. Now this is something I enjoy because you could lay here for hours and slowly fill your candy jar up. <laughs> Because I'm staying still in this spot, I'm much more prone to getting cold. That's a big reason why I'm having a break right now. I really, really like this spot. It's covered in hard pack down there. There's gold everywhere. But every time I fan, it just makes such a cloudy mess. Once I felt like I was getting too cold, I made my way downstream. Check out this worm. That is huge. Found a worm and checked out a spot where we will be hookah diving in the next video. And I just found a little nugget, which is a good sign. Paulie's just found a little nugget. Have a look. <laughs> but of course, the camera wasn't on when I sucked it up. So finding gold in the bedrock is a good sign that there is gold in the bedrock because I just found some gold in the bedrock. And here's another view of me finding gold in the bedrock. But I've been doing this all day, so I'm getting pretty tired. Okay, <laughs> that's it for me for today. I wanted to do more filming, but nothing was really happening. And I think it's because where we are, we're pretty close to the public area. So I imagine other people were here right before we showed up and uh, that's where most of the gold went. But that's all right, we have a full day tomorrow. We're gonna get up super early. So hopefully we'll find at least 20 million grams of ounces. But of course, before tomorrow, we're gonna go back to camp, dump out what we found today, show you what we got yesterday, and then, then we'll, We'll go to tomorrow stuff. There's Kyle. Looks like he's dead in the water. How you doing? I literally just found that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. What do you find gold? What? I couldn't indicate there's gold around. Exactly. I think that's good for today. Do you think others have been here before we showed up? I'd say I found a couple crevices that looked really good that had no hard pack in them when I got to the bottom. So, kind of disappointing, but that's the way it goes when you're in kind of a public area. Back at base camp, Mr. Kyle is gonna dump out his snuffer first to see what he found for the day. Oh yeah, you did better than I did. Nice. Go, baby. Those are actually chunkier than I thought. Yeah, this is the one that he found on camera while I was trying to coach him, but obviously doesn't need it. <laughs> Not bad at all. Now let's see if I beat him. I don't think I beat him. Okay, before you laugh, this is what I got yesterday when we decided to bail and come to this river instead. So that was yesterday, and now this is today. All right, moment of truth. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's similar. Yeah. I think you still beat me. You got some nice bigger bits there, but I did get more lead. So here's my take for two days so far. I think it's safe to say that Kyle beat me on this one, but there is still tomorrow. We'll have a lot more time tomorrow to snipe, so hopefully. And we have a plan. And yeah, we, and we somewhat have a plan. We're gonna go further upstream where I usually do pretty good. Okay, so let's see you tomorrow right now. It's probably on the river getting dressed, you're right, mate. All right, I just got in and I found our first piece of gold of the day. Today is going to be a much better day. I can feel it. I just broke some bedrock, found another one. <laughs> I 
I found one behind this boulder. So right now I'm working the bedrock to the center of the river. I want to know if there's any big nuggets just sitting there. If you're a veteran Pioneer Poly watcher, you'll notice I took everybody's suggestion and wore gloves that are much tougher than neoprene. This has saved me lots of money and I appreciate it. While I continued to work the bedrock that didn't have any gold in it, Kyle snuck away to a spot that put him in the lead. I'm actually quite happy for him. Once a little fly poop dreamer to a now bigger gold nugget go-getter. Any tips and tricks on sniping there, Paulie? Uh, don't do it. Bad idea. No, there's more good looking crevices than there is gold. So if you scratch out a crevice and there's no gold, don't be discouraged. Give up. No, no, don't give up. Keep looking. All right, I am back at camp and I am exhausted. That was a really tough three days. I mean, today was probably the worst. I just, I won't complain to you guys. This is what I found. That's not too bad. I certainly thought, ooh, a spider. I thought for sure we would get onto some bigger nuggets, but I did find this chunky guy near the end of the day. So all in all, not too bad. Now Kyle has been doing really well, so I'm really excited to see what he found. Let's check it out. Oh, hello. And here's Kyle's pile. <laughs> Siles pile. That actually looks really, really good. He's obviously on a really good spot. Now this is what I'd normally want to find, but I kind of get sick of the big gold. I like finding the little stuff. <laughs> Not really. You're telling yourself that. Yeah. There's a few nice nuggets in here. You got this one, and then you got this bigger one. I think this one's gonna weigh at least two grams. I'm not really sure, but uh, yeah. Congratulations. You're obviously, you're hitting it. Yeah. So here's all the candy that I got over these last three days. Beautiful. Very nice. And this is what Kyle got over these last three days. Beautiful, very nice. I'm jealous. So I'm gonna weigh my gold, he's gonna weigh his gold, and I'm gonna weigh my gold, and he's gonna weigh his gold, and then we'll, yeah. Kyle's just about to weigh his. Okay, what's your guess, Reese's Pieces? 8.2. Kyle? I've, everyone's pretty optimistic. I'm thinking like 5.7. 7.2, Smokies. I'm gonna say 20 grams. <laughs> no, probably six something. Drum roll. Oh, you're gonna pick up that little guy? Uh-oh. Yep. 7.25. Nice. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Darren gets to keep the gold. Wow. This is how I'm drawing my gold. Put my finger on it. Obviously 20 ounces. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Um, one gram, Bob. What have we got here? 20 ounces. Four point. 7.5, 4.2. Well, I'm still guessing 20 ounces, so. Ah, okay. <laughs> 3.35. Oh, 20 ounces, there's actually a piece of gold right there. All right, so now I'm running away from the sand flies because they are everywhere. If you enjoyed this video, chances are you're going to enjoy what I've previously posted and what's coming in the future. Now, I'll be in New Zealand for a whole month still. I've got some dredging videos to do. I just ordered the hookah system so now we can do some deeper sniping. And I'm even gonna check out some other rivers for us to go snipe. So hopefully a lot of gold to be found and more videos for me to make for you. Check out pioneerpoly.com if you want some sick merchandise that will make you really cool and find more gold. And I'm gonna get some more bug spray before I eat dinner. Goodbye. Stay tuned for the next video where we dive deeper for the bigger nuggets.